filmmaker Natalia Almada was born in Mexico to a Sinhalese father and a North American mother. At the age of three, Natalia's parents divorced, splitting Natalia's time between her father's cattle ranch in Sinaloa and a nomadic life in the U.S. with her mother. Natalia explored her passion for photography as an undergraduate at Tufts University and the College of Santa Fe, then went on to the Rhode Island School of Design to pursue her master's. While at RISD, Natalia made a personal experimental short, All Water Has a Perfect Memory, about her family's memory of the death of her sister. No, no puedes creer lo que es hacer. Quieres que reviva, quieres que vuelva a abrir los ojos, y mi hermano, pues hoy ya era muy tarde. All Water Has a Perfect Memory was an official selection of the 2002 Sundance Film Festival, won Best Short Documentary at the Tribeca Film Festival, and received a gold plaque award at the Chicago International Film Festival. While developing her debut feature documentary, Al Otro Lado, Natalia worked as an editor for several feature-length public television documentaries, including Evangeline Griego's God Willing and Nicole Cattell's Revolución Cinco Miradas. It was during this time that Natalia would meet Chuy Chavez, her future cinematographer on Al Otro Lado. Set in the drug capital of Mexico, Al Otro Lado tells the story of an aspiring corrido composer who faces two choices to better his life, to traffic drugs or to cross the border illegally into the United States. Same story, can't find work in Mexico, right? Looking for work here. And I wish we had a way for them to come legally and work. From Sinaloa, Mexico, to the streets of South Central and East LA, Al Otro Lado explores the world of drug smuggling, illegal immigration, and the corrido music that chronicles it all. Al Otro Lado was nationally broadcast on PBS's award-winning program, POV, and at the New York Museum of Modern Art. It was nominated for a 2005 Gotham Award and was the official selection of the Tribeca Film Festival and the Los Angeles Film Festival, among many others. Currently, Natalia is living in Sinaloa, Mexico, and developing two new documentaries. Her first one, El General, uses audio cassette recordings that Natalia's grandmother left behind before she died. El General depicts an intimate portrait of Natalia's great-grandfather, Plutarco Elias Calles, who was the infamous president of Mexico from 1924 to 1928. Her second documentary is a collaboration with Alejandro Icaza called Lauderos. Lauderos recounts the history of the 500-year-old tradition of handmade guitars in Paracho, Mexico, that is on the brink of extinction due to massive migration, drug trafficking, and globalization. Personal, lyrical, experimental. Natalia Almada.